Barnabas, the fastest growing commercial center in Nakuru. But behind the hustle and bustle of the frontier of Barnabas lies multiple modern homes, including bungalows, mansionettes, and gated communities. So then, is Barnabas poising itself to become the next big thing in Nakuru in real estate development? First, let's take a look at some of the gated communities under construction and even those completed in Barnabas. First on the list, Monarch Court Phase 1. So this project was completed in 2022 and it was sold out. The project featured three bedroom bungalows with self-contained DSQs. A home sits on a 50 by 100 plot. And uh, click on the link in description for a full house tour of this project. You know, it was already, it was done and dusted. Number two, we have Monarch Court Phase 2. So after Phase 1 was sold out, Monarch Court launched Phase 2. And the footage you are seeing now, it was as of the time of shooting. You know, otherwise the project is expected to be fully completed by November 2023. This year, that is booking is ongoing for this one phase two features three bedroom all and suite bungalows plus dsqs again sitting on 50 by 100 plots now among other features the project includes cabro paved driveway uh, a borehole you know biodigester and sock pit electric fence and suite dsq and a playground area you know that last one the playground area that is the most important factor today which many folks have been asking, Ezra, yes, they have built, but where is the playground? So this phase two, they have a playground area and that for me was a plus. Now, the third project, project number three is Fika Gardens. This project is being undertaken by Neocrest Homes, the artists of the masterpiece that I featured on this channel a while back, that is to live a court in Lanet, all right? So this is Neocrest Homes homes okay they are the ones doing this project and uh, this is their third project in nakuru after lanet hills and to live court both which were in lanet now at fika gardens they have three bedroom all and suite homes you know uh, plus dsqs you know sitting on either 40 by 80 or 50 by 100 plots so the pr the, the, the price there you know will vary all right depending on uh, which home you choose now, having seen their track record, you know, at Tulivu, I bet the quality at Fika Gardens will be standard or even better. And by the way, once again, the footage you are, the footage you are watching was as of the time of shooting. Otherwise, again, the project is nearing completion, albeit being fully booked. Can you imagine? Fika Gardens is fully booked, but don't uh, lose hope, okay? Because now uh, the company again... They have another project at Barnabas, which brings us to number four, uh, which is called Fika Villas. All right, so we have Fika Gardens and now Fika Villas. So Fika Villas is the second project uh, by Neocrest Homes at Barnabas. So far, only the groundbreaking has been done and uh, work will advance fully upon completion of Fika Gardens. For now, we just wait to see how this new development will come along. If you like Neocrest work, well, you can start booking this new development as early as now. Otherwise, again, you may come here sometime next year and again, they tell you it is fully booked. <laughs> because for them, you know, they even, you know, they build off plan, right? So sometimes you come there and they tell you every parcel has been booked. So if you like their work, start talking to me. Okay, as early as now. Now, number five, and now we enter projects which have not been named yet. Okay, you know, some other folks, they just do projects, but they don't give them a name. So number five is the one here on your screen. Okay, and it is also in Barnabas, but with a different design. You know, the developer chose the hidden roof approach. And again, the footage is as of the time of shooting. Okay, so every footage ideally you are watching is as of the time of shooting and it could have been a week ago a month ago you know otherwise the project this project in particular has advanced all right so personally i like this design okay i like this design of the hidden roof it looks futuristic unique you know different from the others we've seen thus far i mean it stands out of the crowd you know 
So these are three bedroom hidden roof bungalows, okay, with the SKUs, of course, DSQs, okay, sitting on huge plots. Eh? They said uh, it is 50 by 100, but man, <laughs> they are quite huge. <laughs> they are quite large. Eh? Now, if you want some assistance there, again, just DM or WhatsApp. My number is on the screen. Very well, number six, and yet another unnamed project at Barnabas. I featured this one just this week after discovering them, okay, in one way or the other, I discovered this place. So it's also a gated community featuring three bedroom, all in sweet homes and DSQs again. I mean, many of them, they come with DSQs, all right? Now, when it comes to space in the rooms, I felt these homes were superior, okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, by the time I got here, only one unit was yet to be bought okay and uh it's, it's still available and that's what i featured on this channel uh click in the link in this in description to watch the full house tour and on the other hand there's a unit okay for rent here for fifty thousand kenya shillings per month all right so somebody bought theirs and uh, they're not ready to occupy so they're renting it out for fifty thousand kenya shillings so that one again my number is on the screen Now, number seven, allow me to make a honorary mention, you know, to close this list, and that is the Ridge Estate, okay? Completed in 2021, this project was magnificent. It featured four bedroom mansionettes with an accessible rooftop. This is the only gated community where they did, you know, homes with an accessible rooftop, with a rooftop, all right? These are the only projects so far in Nakoro. So each home sits approximately on a 50 by 100 plot and it, they boast modern finishing all around. I never got to do a house tour of a ready home because by the time I thought of it, the homes were all rented out. Can you imagine? So now up to that point, which is your favorite project? You know, let us know in the comments. And uh, if Barnabas continue giving us such gated communities, you know, and uh, modern homes, you know, mansions, bungalows here and there, all right, then, I mean, from where I sit, I feel this place is the future of contemporary living in Nakoro City. There is no other estate where such kind of homes have been built or even are being, I mean, are under construction as we speak. It is only here at Barnabas. So I feel this place is the future of modern living in the city of Nakuru. Do you agree with me or do you beg to differ, you know? And by the way, what more could you add here? You know, we have seen bungalows with excuse. We have seen the hidden, the hidden roof, you know? And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments, you know? Meanwhile, by the way, this coming week, I will be hosting a property developer, a real estate developer, you can call them also, on Housing Hub series, okay? And you can comment or even DM, by the way, the questions you will want me to ask them, okay? The things you will want to be addressed. This coming week, I will be hosting a real estate developer on this channel. And I will be asking them many questions. Help me also with your questions so that, uh, you know, we get them to address, for instance, why they are not doing the green spaces, the green landscaping. Because most of these projects that we have seen, so far I mentioned only one okay is where they have done you know the green spaces even a playground so why are they not doing the green spaces number two why are they just doing the concrete jungles people like to call them the concrete jungle you know it's all brick you know all around you know so it will be an interesting episode on housing hub so stay tuned for that upcoming episode on housing hub by the way housing hub is a new segment on this channel which will be all about all things real estate. So, so, so we, we've had an interview with a foreman 
we've had an interview with a contractor and next up we will be talking to a real estate developer and i want to ask him as many questions as possible so tafadhali nisaidieni hapo just drop your questions up in the comment sections i will pick them up and next week nikichanganya na zangu we will surely be informed sawa sawa so let me have your questions and uh, see you in the next one